um, of the size that you've defined um, up here. And then uh, what it does is it actually booleans that with the surface and it creates a shape from that boolean. So you get an actual an actual accurate um, patch of uh, polygons that actually match the surface that you've uh, uh, in, uh, collided with. So if I turn on bo bo box intersection, you can see now you're actually getting a kind of shadowy shape here of the uh, the teapot in parts. Now, if I actually uh, play that through, I'll just make sure that uh, real time is off. So if I play that through, you can see that as the uh, particles strike, they're being uh, these shapes are being created, and you can see that the shapes are adhering to the surface. Now, if we actually look at the, the handle of the teapot, you can see you've got a, a shape here and a shape here, and you can see there's actually some sort of fracturing going on. That's because these, these shapes are actually pretty much their uh, snapshots. Um, they're being created on the, on the point of impact, um, and uh, the uh, align to surface option is, is keeping them uh, stuck on the surface, so they're actually fluctuate, fluctuating around with the surface but the actual shapes themselves are static, they're not updating. So if I turn on off uh, Align to Surface and play the animation, uh, you can see that a little bit more clearly. So one of the options in Box Intersection is to um, allow for a continuous update of the shape. So if we actually turn that on and uh, play through, There you go. So you can see now that the actual shapes are updating along with the deformation of the mesh. So you can see it's a very powerful feature. Um, as the uh, the mesh is changing shape, you can see that the shapes are actually changing uh, their, sh their shape also. So I'll just try uh, using a line to surface uh, as well. And you can see now that uh, the initial position of the uh, the shapes as they strike the surface is maintained, so we don't get that fluctuating of the gross shape of the uh, the patches that we saw just now when we had a line to surface turned off. So you can see we keep the the basic shape. Now, um, as I mentioned earlier in this DVD, the teapot is actually made up of multiple elements. Uh, it's got a body, it's got a spout, it's got a lid, and it's got a handle. And you can see that some of these uh, shapes would effectively be um, spreading across onto the, the lid, if you can see that. Um, but you can see they're not, they're not actually doing that. Now, the other option in the uh, shape box intersection uh, section is allow multiple elements. And what that actually will do is it'll uh, calculate a collision point on the surface. Uh, it'll create a box of the correct scale based on uh, the units that you've given it up here. It'll do the intersection with that surface and it'll create this patch. Uh, now if you have multiple elements on that surface it'll only actually take the initial one that it collided with and it won't check for any others in the, in the area. So if you want it to actually spread across onto the, the, the lid of the teapot uh, you'd actually have to turn on allow multiple elements and that works with any object that you have multiple elements in. Uh, so if we turn on allow multiple elements uh, that must file's actually saving, it's updating. And there you can see now that the uh, patches now extend onto the lid of the teapot. So I'll press play on that. And one of the things that you'll notice is that there's a little bit of a speed hit on this. Um, not much, but obviously in calculating across these element boundaries there's a little bit of a, a speed penalty. So unless you really need it, it's probably something that you probably want to have you know turned off most of the time. I'll just display the uh, teapot as, as a surface again so you can see that these shapes are actually um, adhering to the surface so as you can see it's very very powerful it's a very very useful feature now if we actually have a look I'll uh, drag back a little bit here I'll turn off a lot of multiple elements just to get a little bit of speed back and uh, in the next uh, group we have a pivot offset that will actually offset the the shape of the uh, uh, the actual shape basically you know by default uh, zero percent means that the the pivot of the shape is in the middle of it and uh, if we want to offset it in one direction we can go 50 percent i'll just type that in and you can see that the uh, the shapes will move uh, off in one direction